My name is Jan van Oemsel and I'm the curator of the first museum solo exhibition of Leonardo titled Lost Ideas. Widely known as one of the founding members of uh, New York City's groundbreaking experimental noise rock band Sonic Youth, musician, artist, writer, publisher and producer Leonardo is a worldwide drifter. On his path, he collects images from the never-static world and renders them into paintings, drawings, collages, video, art objects, literature, spoken words and epic wall of noise-like soundscapes. Ronaldo's ever-growing and fast-paced oeuvre reads like an elaborate, fragmented, multi-sensory autobiography. And that's what I find interesting. And from that point of view, it has been my intention to create an exhibition that exposes the, the labyrinth-like and eclectic artistic mind of Leonardo. He moves around the globe in a fast way. He makes his drawings of, of freeways and landscapes while being on the road. There's a lot of that ongoingness in the work of Lee, and that is how I wanted to, to curate this exhibition. We move through seven galleries. It's like a journey going from one space into another, from one whirlpool into another. We have the seven speakers in this space here, we have the hanging guitar here, and everything is moving around, everything is circular. And to counter that, here in the last space of the, of the exhibition, I semi-blocked the staircase with this partition wall which makes people hesitant to go downstairs back to the first gallery. Instead of taking this dark exit, we actually prefer to go back to the galleries we just walked through. And we discover new works that were first hidden. So we see new things and we also see the same things from a different perspective now. And the landscape changes, it keeps changing. The whole physical movement through this entire museum resembles an infinity sign. And it's no coincidence that Lee often signs his books or his CDs with an infinity sign. And I thought this would be a, a nice addition to the choreography of the exhibition, albeit invisible. At the end of the journey, I hope that people who visited Lost Ideas have experienced the different interconnected sides of a highly creative man someone who is known for experimentation uh, in music and art, who has the courage to keep trying new things out. Going from noise music to, uh, to stripped down acoustic songs, for instance. And someone who understands that the emotional value of art is endless and without boundaries. And no idea should be fixed in time and place. Everything is always and everywhere in flux, in motion.